the goddamn button. Press the goddamn button. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go ahead and click that red button right there. And also click that bell for notifications and select all. Alright. Yo, 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 now, when you get down to this page, what you want to do is read the full description. After reading the full description, come up to where it says current and select the green arrow to download. Now, let's jump into the requirements. What we are going to need is open four and we are going to need script V, script V dot net and native UI. OK, we will not be installing the requirements, although I will still leave the link to the requirements in the description and it will lead you to videos showing you how to install the requirements if you don't have them already. All right. There will also be another link that I will leave down in the description as well. And it will be to Buzz Lightyear Toy Story add on pad. OK, so we will be installing add on pad and installing an add on pad to show you an example of installing an add-on pad inside of add-on pads. All right. Okay. So as soon as you have your requirements installed and you have your Buzz Lightyear and your add-on pads downloaded, on my left-hand side, I have two downloads, which is add-on pads and Buzz. On my right-hand side, I have my Grand Theft Auto 5 directory opened up. I have all of my requirements installed and ready to go. Before we go any further, make sure that you have a mods folder installed. If you don't have a mods folder, go ahead and create a new folder and name it mods, all in lowercase. Once you have that created, go ahead and open that one up. And then you want to create another folder that says update. Once you have that update folder created, open it up. Then create another folder that says x64. After you have that folder created, open it up. And then create another folder that says DLC packs. Once that one is created, open it up and you can just leave that one there. Now let's go to our downloads where we had our add on pads folder. Open up the add on pads folder. Inside the add on pads folder, we will have two folders and some files as well. Let's start off with the DLC packs folder. Open up the DLC packs folder. Inside that DLC packs folder will be our add on pads DLC pack. We want to select this folder right here and drag and drop it over to our new DLC packs folder that we just created. All right. Now that that is created and has been dropped and dragged and dropped right there inside of our DLC packs, we can now go back to our GTA 5 directory by just simply pressing the back arrow until you're back in your directory right here. Now what we want to do next is go back to our downloads, select the back arrow, and that's going to bring you back here still inside of your add-on pads folder. And we are going to select this add-on pads editor file and add-on pads vars. Okay, we're going to select these two files I have highlighted and drag and drop these two into our GTA 5 directory. All right, already have it as you can see. Next, what we need to do is go inside of our scripts folder. By this time, you should have a scripts folder already created. If you have all of your requirements installed, native UI is one of those requirements and native UI goes inside of the scripts folder. OK, so let's go ahead and open up our scripts folder. Now let's go back over to our add on pads folder. And now we want to open up the scripts folder inside of the add on pads folder. Open up that scripts folder and we are going to have one file inside that says pedselector.dll. We're going to highlight that file, drag and drop that file over to our scripts folder. All right. Once that has been dragged and dropped, I'm just going to go ahead back to the add on pads folder, go back. And this time I'm going to go inside the DLC packs folder one more time. And I'm going to leave this open right here. Now I'm going to open up my open four. I have my open four opened up on the right hand side. Before you go any further, make sure that you have your edit mode turned on. It's this little button up here. Now that you have that, let's go to our update in the side column, select update, then select update.rpf right here. When you select it for the first time, you should have a red banner popping up saying copy to mods folder, select copy to mods folder. 
Once that has been copied to mods folder, select common, select data, and we're gonna scroll down and select DLC list.xml. Right click with the mouse, select edit, and this text editor window will open up. We wanna scroll to the bottom, highlight the last line, copy it, place the cursor behind that line, press enter, and we wanna paste that same line we copied. Then I'm gonna go back over here to the DLC packs I had opened up so I could copy the add-on pids name or copy the name of the DLC pack. Just gonna copy that, bring it back over here to that last line that I just pasted, and I'm gonna paste the name of add-on pids over the name inside this line. So now I have a new item DLC pack line for add-on pids. Once that has been created, go ahead and select save. And we can select file, close all archives. Now let's go back to our downloads. Select the back arrow, select the back arrow again. Now you should be at um, your Buzz Lightyear folder. So let's open up the Buzz Lightyear folder. Inside that folder is going to be four files, okay? We're gonna leave this folder open. We're gonna navigate back over to our open four. We're gonna select our mods folder. Then select update, x64, DLC packs, add-on PEDS, DLC.RPF, PEDS.RPF, and inside here for the first time, you are going to have these two PEDS inside, okay? So add-on PEDS already comes with two PEDS but I still wanna show you how to install these PEDs when you wanna install your own PEDs, okay? But by default, it automatically comes with Vito uh, from the video game Mafia, and um, it comes with Superman, all right? So what we wanna do is leave this open right here on open four, and we wanna come back over to our buzz folder where we had our buzz folder open, and we wanna highlight all of those files in that folder, it should be four. And we're gonna drag and drop all four of these files over here to um, open four, drag and drop. And you should see all four files being dragged and dropped. Now what we need to do is bring back up our GTA 5 directory. All right, I have my GTA 5 directory opened up right here. And we want to select add-on PEDS editor, okay? Make sure that you run this as, a, as administrator. So you wanna right click and select run as administrator. Select yes, then you will see your add-on pits editor opening up right here. Um, by default, you will only have uh, the two that I showed you earlier. You will only have uh, Vito and Superman inside of your editor, okay? But I had some other add-on pits installed. I'm going to remove all these from the list. Oops. By selecting delete, there we go. All right, so if you wanted to add in a, um, a new PID to this list, you wanna just uh, copy the name of that PID. I'm just gonna copy this name. And then I'm gonna go over here to um, the add-on PIDs editor window, select the little arrow next to PIDs and select new PID. Once you select new PID, this new window will pop up and you want to go ahead and paste the name of your add-on pad. Make sure that it is the correct name that your add-on pad has. And then in pad type, let's go ahead and select male, okay? Because Buzz Lightyear is a male. If it is a female add-on that you're installing, then select female. The next one is is streamed, okay? Um, this Here's the difference between is streamed. We have four files for Buzz. So Buzz is considered a non-streamed character. So we're going to select false. Now, if we had an add-on pad that had a folder and two files, that will be considered a streamed add-on pad, okay? So once we have um, the Right information down here is streamed will be false for our add-on pad today. We want to select add pad at the end. And then we want to select rebuild. All right. And that's it. We can exit out of the add-on pads editor. And select file, close all archives and open four. And we can minimize any other windows we might have open 
and run the game. All right, once you spawn into the game, what you want to do is press L on the keyboard. Press L and you will see the pet selector menu open up in the top left of the screen. You want to select add on pets and that will show you a list of the add-on pets that you have installed. Since I only have um, Buzz Lightyear inside of the, um, the add-on pet editor, then Buzz is the only one that shows up. So make sure that all of your add-on pets you have installed, you add all of their names to the add-on pet editor as well for them to show up in the pet selector, okay? So once you have your pet selected, go ahead and select it, and you will see your pet spawn. Your character should turn right into the pit. Hey, Chop, where you going? Chop, come back. Don't leave me, Chop. All right, well, um, now we have our pit right here. Buzz Lightyear in the building. And also, if you are experiencing crashing while um, spawning in add-on pads, I will leave a link in the description to a video showing you how to install game config, okay? And also, I will leave another link to a video showing you how to install resource adjuster. These two things will help out your game from crashing when installing a lot of mods at one time, all right? So uh, make sure you check out the description for those helpful links as well, all right? So we're going to wrap up the tutorial right here, but if this helped y'all out to install add-on pads or if you just enjoyed the video, feel free to smash that like button for me. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share the video with your friends that are in the modding GTA 5, y'all. It's games and graphics. Me and uh, Buzz Lightyear out of here. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.